Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to House of Bruce's Window Dirty. I like the way that looks. It looks dirty. Um, the house is all prepped. Floors are all done. Walls are all done. All we have to do is install and decorate. Since we're in here, let's go ahead and start. This is going to be our main floor bathroom. Anything here I need to worry about? No. Put the sink here. There we go. So, first things first, shower. Let's go ahead and install the Omni. Why not? Black and black glass. I actually kind of like that. So, what's... Oh, it overlaps just too much. Crap. So, shower plumbing system. Try to be a little more careful about that. I'm sorry, I thought I was literally all ready. Shower. Please. There we go. Put that in, put that down, screw that in. Voila. Over here we need our toilet. Just a kind of plain regular one. The bolts down. There's a little piece of rubber that's supposed to be installed down there, but we missed that apparently. Radiator there. Okay. Can just do that. Let's get this installed here. Oh, there we go. It's been a long time since I've installed a radiator, can you tell? So that. And that. Perfect. Over here we need a nice little sink. I want one with a cabinet, but nothing too big and too gaudy. Let's just go ahead with this one. And let's go with the gray wood. I actually kind of like that. Screw you into place. You suck. Now I have a mess to clean up. It's all your fault. Install. Just that, and that, and that. And I don't have a mess to clean up. That actually wasn't enough to make a mess. Alright, we want some shelves in here. Um, some up shelves. We'll do it in white. I'll kind of just run them along the wall here. There we go. That should be fine. Um, and it's all just kind of an other, isn't it? A rolled towel. We'll put one of those right here. Candles. Now toothpaste. There we go. Actually, you know what? Nobody's down here. Everybody has stuff on the second floor. So we're not going to keep this thing well stocked. Towel. So we'll have a whole bunch of white towels. Eh. We'll do red towels for the guests. Where is the nice looking side? That's it right there. There we go. The towel storage room. That's basically what this is. Okay. Bathroom. Done. Oh, wait. No. Lamps. Lamp. Lamb. Fine. Lamp. Ceiling. How about a sconce? Maybe a couple of wave sconces in here. Ew. Ew. Yeah, we're just going white. So... Oh, we need... Oh, you know what? You guys don't get a mirror. Sorry. One there. One there. 
There we go. So what you guys get in here. Let's see if there is a small mirror that'll fit there. Yeah, nope. They don't get a mirror. I don't know what to do with this room yet. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. <clears throat> That's the basement. Okay, let's go and do the dining room real quick. And I'm actually going to start with the dining room lamp. I'm going to have a nice little chandelier here. Eh, we'll do the spruce. Kind of center it. Looks decent. That looks weird. It doesn't go here. We need a switch for it. be on the wall like right here. Table. Let's get a nice dining table. Hmm. Kind of like this one. Pine. That's a little too bright. Let's do the elm. Oh, that is not big enough. Okay, classic dining table out of Elm. There we go. And a chair to match. This one would be nice. This wouldn't be too bad. Each oak, I like that. And dark brown. One. Two. I just got myself stuck. Three and four. Sheesh. Is the dining room yet? Yes. Let's go ahead and put a painting on a wall. Decorations, paintings. Let's do the be, uh, no. Um. Foamy sea waves. That'll be a nice one there. I got stuck again. No, thank you. Just a nice little dining room. Okay. Kitchen. Excuse me, close. We need kitchen. Okay. Build your own cabinet. So let's go ahead. That's fine, I guess. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. That'll work. We want it right. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. I want you. Here's a regular corner. That one's going to go right here. Double doors. Just like so. What the heck? There we go. Two, maybe one more. Um, where's one with drawers? Is there one that's just a, a bunch of drawers? Cabinet. Like a row of three drawers. No. Okay, so we're going to get a few of these then. So, one two, three, tall cabinet or a hanging cabinet, guess you can get a hanging cabinet that almost fits perfectly up here, 
a little bit of a gap there. Not quite a gap there. And we need a fridge. Okay, a refrigerator. I like double door. American Elm. Cherry wood. Black wood. Let's go with that one. Okay. Well, now let's try assembling our kitchen. Okay, let's do a set of drawers here. That is stupid. Alright, so I'm actually not going to be able to do what I wanted there. So back to this regular cabinet with a sink. Why does this one look funky? Just because of the side? Ugh. This is where I wish it had half walls. Get you nice there. Did I have? I do not. Let's grab another corner cabinet and see if we can get it to fit there. Without too many issues. Oh, so close! Alright, well. I guess we're going to bump this all out by one. Just so we can get this all to fit properly. And there you are. There's that. And you need to go actually further into the corner. There you go. Drawer there. There. Actually, will this fit right here now? A little bit of room on each side, which is perfectly fine. So there's that. Um, I'm actually saying let's be gone with this. Okay. What do I need to make this a kitchen? A refrigerator and a sink! So, is it because it's slightly out? Okay, so what if I put the drawers on this side? And we put the sink over here. Now we have a small kitchen. Okay. Except I believe I can probably do that. Fit that there. Kind of opens this up a little bit, which is a little nice, actually. All right. Time to decorate. So... Stove stuff. Let's get a hood exhaust. Ooh, there's nowhere for us to put a good heater, so I guess no, nothing of that sort. Is it electronic equipment? Gas stove. We'll go ahead. You know what? No. Kitchen sink goes next to the window. This one come over here. Go ahead and put the gas stove right there. And 
And now our vent can go right here. How about, was it a cooker? And that cannot go on it. However, it looks like it has the stuff on the top for it anyway. And we'll kind of close off the kitchen just a little bit more again. There's our cooker. Um, back to kitchen. Kitchen. Let's grab this big one here. I like the white. I'm gonna put that one here. We'll put the small one. over here. Okay. Is it all in other stuff? Whiteboard? No. Toothpaste stuff? No, 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 no. So is it all in kitchen? Is it in other? No, it's probably under accessories, kitchen, knife stand. We'll have the knives over in up here in the window. I have a cutting board right here. We left a knife out. So there's that. Kitchen drying rack because there's not a lot washer in here. Dishwasher. A walk. Oh, come on, really? This needs to be a solid surface. It really does. You know, as far as decorations go, I think we're set. I did realize, though, we don't have a cabinet for dishes, but I'm not going to worry about that. This puts us at right about 15, 18 minutes or so. Let's... Okay, upstairs we have bedroom with closets. Bedroom, this one has a psychomantium, which I did some research for a psychomantium. It's apparently a place to help you communicate with the dead. So, yeah, we saw, we for whatever reason, we put that in our house. It exists now. This is a home library, so I need an office. This will be an office. What do we need for an office, actually? We could actually turn this into a sauna. Because my room downstairs is pro po probably going to be classified as an office. I don't want a sauna in my house, though. So, bedroom, got it. Toilet, got it. Closet, got it. Storeroom, got it, actually. Bathroom, got it. Living room, downstairs. No, this upstairs is the living room. Downstairs is the uh, family room. Kitchen, got it. A washer room. A laundry room, basically. We could do that. This is a bit freaking big for a laundry room, though. This is very big for a laundry room. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a no. Psychomantium. A multifunctional room with a bed and a kitchen sink. So, a studio. Apartment. Living room with kitchenette, no. Home library, we've got one of those upstairs. Sauna, dining room, home cinema. Okay, I guess it's just going to be a regular office. Which actually works out fine. I want my wife to have her own office where we can set up a computer for her too. So, we need a lot of stuff. Start with a desk for her. I kind of like this one. 
Nah, that kind of jumps a little too blocky. But something like this. And cherry. This room's gonna be full of cherry. Um, over in this corner, maybe. Right here. An office chair. A let's go monitor. Oh, backlit. Okay. This little monitor there. Keyboard. Mouse. Okay. Bookcase or office bookshelf? Bookcase. We'll go ahead and put this one in. Sherry, and we'll go ahead and put that next to the door here. This is a really big room. You know what? Let's put a bigger desk in here. It's trying to kind of conserve space, but this is a huge room. Desk. Something like this, an artist nook desk. There we go. There's that. And that. And that. You know, all of these people are going to be horribly upset when I take this uh, house off the market. Okay. Office chair, carpet. What would look good in here? Maybe just a classic. Kind of run it lengthwise. And now we have an office. Let's put a small table in here. What is it? The slim? We'll run it right here. Go ahead and put some plants on it. Have a monstera, a drachnia. You know what? The Drachnia can sit further behind. Let's grab two Drachnias. Let's grab a couple of ferns. And a couple of whatever this is. Ooh, that's a bit big. So just one of those. How big are you? Pretty darn big, so no. Alright. There's that. We need... Ceiling lamp. Probably just... Some mini halogens. Voila. A nice little office, not a lot of clutter, some nice little plant decorations, and that room is done. That puts us at just under 25 minutes for the episode, which is perfect. We are going to go ahead and end the episode here, actually. We missed something very crucial. lights in our kitchen. And now, 
going to go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you've all enjoyed this. If you have, give me a thumbs up. Give me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing this and tips, ideas, and suggestions. I will see you all in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.